show. Listen, man. Last time. Shalom. Gone. Damn, you coming like extra hard. 612 998. 612 998 Twin Cities. What's happening? Hey, hey, what's happening, brother? What's, what's going on? What, what's going on, brother? How can I help you today? All right, brother. I'm glad. I'm, you know what? I'm just really glad that I got through. The first thing I want to say is uh, thank you, brothers, for body bagging the Moors. Because oh, I was listen, 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 listen. Oh, it was our listen. pleasure. To, uh, That's like one of our yeah, most man, watched I shows. Had to, I had to edify shows. my boys, man, with that segment. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Any chance. Any chance we get. Okay. Hey, DeBar, my, hey, hey hold, hold on one sec. Hey, hey, Corey Holcomb blasted the shit out of Polite. I did see that. But go ahead, brother. What you, what you want to bring out? Okay, yeah, brother. By the way, yeah, this is Russell from Minneapolis. But uh, at any rate, uh, my question is concerning uh, the the city of Petra in Jordan, brothers. Now, a lot of our people are heading over to Jordan concerning the scriptures that say that it would be a safe place to get away from Babylon at the time in which we find ourselves in right now, where they're pushing it, Mark. They're pushing this, this thing on mic, this microchip, putting it inside of people's skin. So I just want to look, get a little take from you guys. What's your take on hey, that? Hey, we be pa heading Petra, to Jordan? Pa you said, should we be heading to Jordan? There is, you know, Jordan is Babylon too right now. Right, right. Like, what, what people got to understand is, number one, uh, the microchip is not the mark of the beast. It's not. They've been, okay. talking, about, they've been talking about a microchip since the 90s. Out, and the microchip has not come. But you know what has been here since forever? Every false religion on the face of the planet is a beast. So if you're a Muslim, you have a mark of a beast because that's Islam. When it's talking about the mark of the beast in Revelations, it's talking about the chief beast, meaning the one that all the other beasts follow, which is the so-called white man and his Christianity. That's what make it like when uh, when you read Ezekiel, it says we became a prey to all the beasts of the field. That beast is plural, meaning every beast. Okay. So whether you call them Chinese, Japanese, Islam, excuse me, Arabs, Africans, white people, all of those nations are regarded to as beasts. And you know what they all have? Religion. Religion is the chief beast. Christianity is the master beast. So there is no place that you're going to go. You go over to Israel, you have to. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekar, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, that was a great millstone. Shout out to the Akims out there that's been faithful to this word, doing the best to please the Most High Yahweh and his son, Yahweh, Shai. Excuse me, Salakim. Um, this is no saint left behind. See that triple four up there on the top right? All <laughs> praises to the most high. Yeah, what about you? I was shy. Yeah, okay. Um, I want to get into this mark of the beast. And now you heard to Zaria from IUSPK, these clowns just said that the the mark of the beast was Christianity. That the that in Revelations it's talking about Christianity. It's not talking about no off, it's not talking about no chip. He said they've been talking about the chip forever. Well, the chip is here now, clown. How can you place Christianity or Islam in your right hand or your forehead and buy with it? If Christianity and Islam and all these other religions was the, was the mark of the beast, then nobody can be delivered. Because everybody was once in all these religions. Before... Um, before uh, 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 Abba Bibbins came and brought and brought the word and woke us up to who we were, we all was in Christianity, Islam, uh, we was in every religion that's out there, man. So how is Christianity, Islam, and all these different religions is the mark of the beast? How was that? How did you receive Christianity and Islam and all this in your right hand or in your forehead? How can you buy with this? You know what I'm saying? How can you purchase with this beast? So you're going to be able to buy, sell, or trade. You can't place these things in your hands. So we're going to go to the scriptures, man. And just, you know, I'll just go ahead and prove these clowns as liars. You know, they're not speaking according to the word. All right. And I'm going to just go to, uh, I'm not going to go to Revelations 13. I'm going to just go to Revelations 14, man. And I'm going to start at 9. 
It said the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, now to worship the beast, the beast is, 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 is the, uh, the ways, the ways of, of America, NATO and the EU, you know, that's the beast. So he said, any man worship the beast. That means if you fall in their holidays and, 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 and you accept in gay marriage and, you know, the, the, the beast, you know, the, the things that American pass. So if you follow in the beast as in his holidays and, you know, like I said, accepting gay marriage and all this, if you say that if all this is OK, I, that's worshiping the beast in his image. You know, that's worshiping the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Now, his mark. Now, he just said that Christianity, Islam, and all these things was the mark. So how can you receive this in your hand or in your forehead? Now, listen to what it said if you receive this mark. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. So the Bible said if you if, if you follow in the traditions and ways of this beast and his image, which is uh, NATO and the EU, which is the so-called white man's way of living, his democracy which they are the Edomites, Esau, Edom. If you follow in them and, and, and doing and, and, and keeping their ways of living, then that's worshiping the beast in the image. Now in receiving his mark in your forehead or in your or in his hand, that'll be the RFID microchip, man. That ain't Christianity, Islam, and no religion. You can't buy or sell or trade with any religions. So we're gonna get into this and prove these clowns as liars. Okay, verse 10 says. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. And the wine of the wrath of Yahweh is his, his destruction, man. Fire, nuclear missiles, death, Jacob's trouble, man. That's the wine of Yahweh. Let's continue reading. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. So that means it's nothing, it, it ain't got no mixture. It's going to be the strongest drink you can ever get. And that's those thermonuclear fires. It said into the cup of his indignation that means righteous anger man and he says and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone with fire and brimstone brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb now the lamb is Yahweh Shai so the most high Yahweh just said if you take this image which is the RFID microchip if you receive this, that you're going to be destroyed with fire and brimstone. I mean, I can't even get to say that word. So like it. Brimstone. So you're going to be destroyed with fire and brimstone, man. In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb, Yahweh Shai. So the most I say, he's going to destroy you if you take this image. Now, I'm going to have to go to Revelation 13. So let's go over to Revelation 13 and just show you what the mark does. Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And that's the ways of NATO and uh, the EU, which is the ways of the Edomites, the so-called white man. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Now, it's going to be a lot of people going to be put to death because they're not going to receive the, you know, the ways of the so-called white man, the Edomites, man. You know, they're not going to receive his homosexuality, his mark, his mark. You know, they're going to they're going to uh, reject the, you know, the lifestyle of the white man, so-called white man, the Edomites. You know, that system, which would normally which is going to be the hundred forty four thousand elect in the one third. But my point is 16 and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor, free and bun, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So he said, you won't be able to buy or sell if you don't have this mark in your hands. It says right hand right here or in your forehead. And if you go to 14, 14 say just hands. That 
catch one of you niggas want to be slick and say, well, what if I put it in my left hand? But it said that you will not uh, be able to buy, sell, or trade if you don't receive this mark, man. Now, let's see what this word mark means. Let's see what this word mark, what this, the, the, the uh, karagma, let's see the definition of this word mark. Since they saying it's Christianity. All right, let's see if you can do this with Christianity. All right, let's get the word. Strong G, 5480, Haragma. Haragma. All right, this Greek word right here is karagma. Karagma. All right, now let's read the definitions of karagma, which is this is the mark, right? Uh, let's go, it says uh, off, uh, outline of uh, biblical usage. One, a stamp, an imprinted mark. A, of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. All right, that's the followers of the Antichrist. That's those anti-Hamasiyak, those who, de who denying um, the so-called black Messiah because he's not black. You know, but he's different shades of brown. He's not no Edomite. He don't have no leprosy. B, the mark branded upon horses. All right, when you brand a mark upon horses, when they take that fire and they, they shear it in their skin, they burn it in their skin. You can't do that with Christianity, man, or Islam or Buddha, Buddhism or, or Judaism or none of that, man. B2, thing carved, sculpture, graven work. So that means it, that's got to, what, breach the skin. If it's carved or sculpture or a graven mark, that means it breached the skin. That means it's going in your skin. It's making a bruise. So how can you do that with Christianity, Islam, or any religion? See, these fools are gone, man. They misleading people. The Bible just said if you receive this mark, the most high going to put your ass to death. Let's go back to this, man. So if you receive this mark, matter of fact, Revelations 13, no, matter, uh, I'm going to read 13, I'm going to read 16, and, and I'm going to go to uh, Revelation 14. Revelation 13 and 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bun, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. All right, let's go to 14. 14 and 9. And the angel, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man to worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his hand, in, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire in brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of Yahweh Shai, the lamb. So you can't take no religion and buy and sell with it. Or you can't place no religion. You can't breach your skin with religion. You can't put no imprint of no religion in you. So these fools are lost, man. So I got another video to show you guys, or you Israelites, uh, well, you know, what the most are giving me. All right, now this is the RFID microchip. This is the mark, Karagma. Now they're going to show you how it is um, carved, sculptured, you know, or engraven image, how it breached the skin. And the Bible tells you in the law that you're not supposed to put no, car you're not supposed to put no tattoos or carvings upon your body. So we know that this is it. Matter of fact, man, it's like you. Let me get this scripture, man. Let me get this right quick. I mean, you know, I'm putting this up raw, man. So bear with me. Give me a second. That it ain't it. I gotta. Uh, I'm gonna try to find something for you. Just work. Work with me for one second. Um, let me see if I can find this law. Let 
we found this law just should be in Leviticus, I think. Leviticus 19 and uh, 28. Let's go to Leviticus 19 and 28, my people. Just to show you that this is the law. So we know that this is the mark. Okay, Leviticus 19 and 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor imprint any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. See, he just said right here, you're not supposed to print marks on you. So that goes, or put any cover, cuttings in your skin. So that goes great. So that goes great with what we just what we just said. That's how the most I work. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man. That goes great. Let's get this word again then. Because we just read the law. And the law said you shouldn't put no what? A B2. Thing carved, sculpture, or graven. Work. So the law just said you can't do that. All right? Leviticus 19 and 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. So the Most High said that we can't even have tattoos. We can't put no cuttings in our flesh. See, the Africans did that, man. They put cuttings in their flesh. And we kept falling after the other nations, man. That's why we in the predicament we're in now. All right, now let's get this video just to prove these... Uh, these fools from UPSK, these fools from IUSPK, I whatever they call. See, they got the same spirit as uh, 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 IUIC, Israelite, Israelites United in Christianity. See, they got the same spirit, um, um, IUIC and IUSPK, because you know they both, they all both got the um, 501, what 503 C charter. You know they got that government grant. So it's only certain things they can teach, man. And neither one of them teach the mark. Both of them say it's religion. And if you notice, both of them say most high in Christ uh, blessed. Who the hell is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, ain't no such thing as no Christ. That's Serapis. The Messiah name, the Hamasiah, Messiah name is Jehovah Shai. And the father name is Jehovah. Now let's watch this video, man. That's drawing worldwide attention. Pretty quick and easy. I didn't really feel anything, to be honest. Central Wisconsin company offering its employees a microchip plant. How the party to kick off the new program. Around 50 employees at Three Square Market gather to get the microchip. It's about the size of a grain of rice and gets implanted into the hand using a syringe. Participating employees will be able to use it to open doors, log onto their computers, and pay for snacks in the break room. We came across this and saw it being used in. See, you hear that? Open doors, get on the computer, and be able to purchase food, man. This is the mark. Ain't no religion no more. These clowns are stupid. And I rebuke our USPK, our UIC. I rebuke all these alphabet, fake Hebrew Israelites, men in the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. Other societies, we said, why not us? Why not us? That's the attitude here at Three Square Market in River Falls. The software and Tell me, they've been saying this since the 90s, and it ain't came yet. Well, it's here now, Tazariak. It's here now. You better repent, man, and stop teaching 95% of the truth and teach 100% of the truth, like Great Millstone. Here at Great Millstone, man, we got 100% truth, man, because we're a body. We're a body, man, that's on one accord, and we're teaching the truth, man. We're teaching what the Word say. We're not teaching what man say. If we say it, it's coming from the Word, man, it's not us. It's Yahweh Shah speaking through us, man. It's the spirit. So if you don't receive us, you're not receiving Yahweh Shah, who you even call Jesus, because he sent us. He speaks through us. Engineering company, president and CEO, provides something to society. President and CEO Patrick McMullen has been working on this project since January. Employees aren't required to get the chip. It's completely voluntary. It's a big needle, though. The company offered me the opportunity to get shit, and I agreed. See, they they receiving this more willfully, but you ain't got to worry about these eating mics, but you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans and confused the faces, you Israelites that receive this more will be would drink of the same cup 
of these other nations, especially as these Edomites. The Mosai is going to destroy you. He said he's going to burn you here. He's going to put you to death. And when you get into the kingdom, in your reincarnation, you're going to be least in the kingdom. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, just a pinch. Yeah, pretty easy. Okay. Convenience uh, in a lot of ways. And read this clown shirt time about I got the chip. Man, these Edomites, man, these devils are something else, man. They promoting this thing, man. This is the mark of the beast. My, my pockets. Employee Tony Dana says the chip will be used for basic tasks like getting in and out of the building, logging onto his computer, and buying snacks in the break room. And then to finalize your payment, you'll put your RFID chip, hold it against it. Now my unique card that's identified with the RFID chip is asking if I'd like to put the dollar six on my chip. So yes. Since word got out about the chips, Three Square has been contacted by hospitals, universities, even the U.S. and foreign governments about the technology. Imagine being able to travel without it. So you see that? And this is old, man. This is old. They did this, I think, last year. You know what I'm saying? So, and they said everybody is what? contacting them about this chip. I'm telling you, this is the year of Karagma, man. The year of the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip. It's going down. That's why they're taking your Section 8, your food stamps, and your SNAP. That's why they're trying to bring chaos. It's called order out of chaos, man. They're going to run all these prices up, man. They're going to take this paper reserve note, this so-called dollar bill away, and they're going to come to you with this mark of the beast, this RFID microchip, man. I'm telling you. The year of Karagma, man. All right? And I'm going to end this, man. Shalom, warm Israel. Don't take this chip. Repent. Come back to the Most High, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shah. Or that's your ass, Mr. Postman.